guys, Arithia here today and I'm going to be showing you how I do my renders in Cinema 4D and the version is R14. So we're on a character page right now, but the first thing you want to do before you do anything is get the Roblox Quick Asset Downloader and how you do that is you open the drop down box here, go on more tools and then extensions and that will lead you to a page with all your ad blocker, Roblox Plus and all you do is scroll down to the bottom, click get more extensions and you're going to type in the Roblox Quick Asset Downloader and you're going to look for that in the Chrome Web Store and then once you add that up to your taskbar, you can go back to Roblox and you're going to go on to the profile of the person that you want to edit in studio. So after you're at their page, you'll let the Roblox Quick Asset Downloader. Alright, so once the Quick Asset Downloader has its color, you're going to click on it. And then click on the mid button in the middle that looks like Roblox Studio. And it should pop up with a download in the lower left corner. You're just going to click on that. And it'll go ahead and open it up in Studio for you. I have this notepad for you guys to pause at any moment. I'll be opening it up a few times, but if you miss any steps, just feel free to pause it to look at any of the steps I have down for you guys. So right now we are at um, the opening in studio and going on to step five. All right guys, so character has loaded up in studio. This is the part where you're going to pose your character how you want. So how you pose it is you just click on your character and over here in the workspace and explore, you're going to open up your player and then you can move the arms and the head and the legs and um, also the gear if your character is holding any will be put into studio too. Alright guys, once you have your model all posed, all you have to do is compress it down into one model and if you do have multiple parts, make sure you put it in that model and feel free to name it if you have multiple models that you're exporting. So I'll just name this Arithia. And then you're going to right click and then click export selection. And make sure that you have a place that you can easily find it once you go in Cinema 4D. So I have a 3D edit folder and each time I do a new edit I put a new folder because that will allow me to easily get the textures and anything I need from it. So I'm just going to call this Rithia with Wings. And that's all we have to do for Studio. Now you guys can close Studio. You don't have to save it or anything. And we're going to open up Cinema 4D. Alright, once you guys have uh, uh, Cinema 4D opened up, you will see you have this large space. And I'll open up the notepad for you guys. Um, you're at probably 3 to 4. Um, so once you guys are in Cinema 4D, you guys can ha scroll with 3, 2, and 1. Those are going to be your main controls for Cinema 4D. One is pan, two is scroll, and three is rotate. So what you guys are going to do is um, go on file and merge. Then you're going to just find where you saved your model and then open that up. And you're going to want to open the OBJ for it. So it would be this. And you can scale it from one to 100 or just keep it at one. That's just preference. I like to keep it at 100. And you'll see that your model loads up here for you. <clears throat> so um, down in the lower left you see you'll have spheres which are basically the textures for your model so we're going to put in our textures by just um, clicking here 
you're going to go over to color and then there's three dots here which you can click and then go to the file where you saved your model and it should have the texture there for you all right so looks like we did that right um, as you guys can see it will look blurry and you can change that by clicking on editor and on texture preview size just change default to no scaling and it'll clear that out for you all right next as you guys can see there's somewhat a glare on my character and you want to take that off because it will look not professional in your renders so we're just going to right click on the sphere here go on edit and then uncheck specular and then we'll do that for the other two spheres too all right now that we have specular off I'm just going to quickly put on the textures for the other two spheres Alright, now we're done with part one. Part two, we're going to move on to part three, which is lighting. Um, Cinema 4D right now, it has decent lighting, but you, it's better to make it personalized so there's no awkward shadows or anything, and you can play around with the lighting to make it look fun too. So uh, up here we have a little light bulb. All you have to do is just click that and it'll illuminate a specific area of your model and you just want to put a couple of those until there's no black or dark spots on your model that might make it look awkward or mess it up. So we're just going to place a few of these around. Alright guys, once you have your lighting set up, you can also change the intensity of your light and the type of your light and you can just play around with that and see how it changes the look and also you can change the hue you can basically do a lot of stuff and it'll be really fun if you play around with it so now we're done with lighting we're going to move on to rendering all right so the rendering section is these three buttons next to each other up here and the one on the right is where we're going to do our editing so first we want to change our height and our width to 1920 by 1080 and I feel like that gives it more of a range and it's sometimes easier to edit in Photoshop too. So that would be on output then we're going to move down to save and change uh, the format to PNG and make sure you have the alpha channel checked because that is for the background uh, transparency. So then we're going to find a place to save it just like we found a place to save our model and make sure you save it in pictures or somewhere easy where you'll be able to find it so we'll just name this um Rithia wings and we don't have to worry about that anymore so let's add our effects like ambient occlusion and color correction those are the two ones that i use when i work in r14 and uh, i know there's others like background something I don't know but um yeah and then we go into anti-aliasing aliasing I don't know and change geometry to best and um 16 by 16 takes the longest and one by one will take the shortest amount of time so feel free to choose whatever you want and we can just render view here to just take a quick look and see what the rendered outcome would look like So um, now what we're going to do is just pose our picture so we don't have any like wings or part of the image coming off the screen and we want to make sure that it comes out in the render. Alright, so once you're about happy with the positioning and everything, I'm just going to make sure I have it the way I like it. 
All right, I like the way it looks right now. So what you're going to do is make sure anti-aliasing is on the preferred settings. Um, I think I'll probably do eight by eight maybe. And then of these three buttons, I'll just remind you guys that this one is a preview of what your render will look like. The one in the middle is your actual render and then this one is to edit your render settings. So we'll go ahead and click on render to picture viewer and it'll start rendering our picture and I will speed this up for you guys. Alright guys, now that our edit is done, we're going to open it up in our files and just check out and see what it looks like. So you should find it pretty easy if you saved it as something you'll remember. And you're just going to double click, open it up, and see what you got. So it looks like this turned out pretty good. I like how it's looking. Alright guys, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to comment them below in the description. I'll open this up one more time if you missed any of the steps. So yeah, thanks for watching my video. Bye!